this is David, Mr. DIY Solar and Tennessee Valley Solar. Uh, once again, I am here at my off-grid cabin. We've made a whole bunch more changes, and I thought I would walk through a little bit of what we've been doing this weekend. Out here on my deck that we have upgraded, we added eight feet to this, and uh, it's a whole lot more spacious. So. I want to walk through this and show off a few other things that we've worked on and kind of walk around what we're working on now. Thanks and I hope it's useful. And here's the deck. It used to be uh, two sections of 10 by 8, so 16 feet up to that post right there. And so we added another 8 foot and that helped a lot, and we got a whole lot more space. We're hoping to work on putting in some countertops in here and over there, and it will kind of wrap around the side. This is our makeshift shower and the gas propane stove that we cook with. And now we have room for several chairs, and it's a lot more comfortable up here. Also put in a concrete pad, or a, sorry, a, a gravel pad here, so it's kind of nice. I can drive up here and park here and unload right straight onto the deck. We're hoping to cut back, it's kind of a three-foot cliff right there, and Cuts up to more like six feet back there. So we're going to cut that back, probably, and we're going to take that tree down. And this whole area, we're going to cut that back up to in front of where that IVC tank is. And hopefully, it'll be all level over here. At some point, we hope to build in this area right here. But for the meantime, it'll give us parking and a lot more flat space right here. We've got drainage that's been started and starts over here by these trees and comes out over there. And we're piling up dirt right here. Hopefully we're going to have a pond over there on the outside of that dirt. And figuring out how we're going to make it so that the pond doesn't overflow over the top of uh, this, pile of this dam that we're making here. And while I'm standing here, today we got finally got our shipping containers moved. I got those got those pushed into place today. And so that's nice. We're finally got uh, those where they need to be so I can start to clean up inside of the one that I had started to use as a shop. Everything's a mess in there. And the other one we can actually start to store stuff in. I have three of these trailers right here that used to be for lights but we took the lights off and we've got solar panels and batteries mounted there and I'm going to carry the three of these up the ridge and set those up to hopefully give us Wi-Fi and cellular uh, access uh, down the ridge. So I've got one of them up there now and I'm going to scatter these around, give us a chance to put some security cameras up and get um, some solar collected here on these, uh, those panels. And 
this is finally starting to come together up here. We use this skid steer to move these two shipping containers and where the skid steer is currently sitting at I'm hoping to have like a lean-to shed built on the side of that container right there kind of give a place to park uh, four-wheelers and lawn mowers and that kind of thing. And we finally have the two containers sitting where we wanted them. And now I just have to clean up. Everything sort of fell over. So I need to get out here and organize and put everything back to the way it used to be. Probably just carry everything out and pile it on the floor out here. And I haven't been able to use this one the whole time since it used to be sitting all the way up there on top of that uh, cliff of dirt right there. So getting that pulled down meant that we were able to go ahead and hope to use the second one and the the first one, we'll just have to clean it out and organize it, and then get to grading this and smoothing this out a little bit, and this is coming along. So I've got some video that I recorded. I was moving these two shipping containers earlier, and I'm going to go ahead and insert that video right here. And that's what it took to get these containers sort of shuffled around and into place. We're working on building a fence along the property line here. And putting in some security. I discovered this company called Yolink that sells these sensors and a lot of other sensors that uses a wireless protocol called LoRa and LoRa is a very long range low energy wireless communication protocol that allows this sensor to communicate with a base station that's all the way back there in the cabin and lets me kind of keep an eye on what's going on around here. And we have this fence going in. And because the shipping container used to be right here, we weren't going to be able to do any more with the fence. But now the shipping container has been moved down. We have a nice clear area. We're going to go ahead and run the fence on over up into the woods here and get relatively close to that post that's in there that marks the property line. And we got the shipping containers pretty level and close to about the same level with each other. Um, now that these are here, I, once I build the 
there's gonna be a lean-to shed there and that roof is gonna there's gonna be a roof right there and I'm gonna mount solar panels on top of that roof so I know I haven't been talking a whole lot about solar on my channel a lot of what we've been doing has been to prepare for several solar projects that we're working on right now so we're hoping to get uh, get that solar there I'm probably gonna have to cut down these poor trees right here because they are casting quite a bit of shade on top of the containers so it's July and it's about 6.30, so I'm definitely about half shaded right now, and so I'm going to have to cut it back quite a bit of the tree cover here to make it so that we're not shaded here. Of course, got a lot of trees that go on up the hill there, so there's only so much we can do without cutting down lots and lots of trees but we'll clean this up a little bit and open it up so we've got less shade here and put that roof there across there that way south so we're gonna have a roof surface here put all those panels on top and then we'll really be able to start producing some solar power once I put that array up there all of the panels that are down there leaning against the cabin and in front of the cabin they will will take all those down get it out all the out of the way and this will this will be our main array of solar panels all right i'm going to drive this trailer up the hill and um i'll catch you uh, here in a second uh, and add that on. In that trailer, there's boxes of them in the trailer. <laughs> You'd be famous on YouTube. What just happened? Something fell down inside and pushed the wall out a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's all right. Well,
is where I'm gonna let the trailer sit for right now. We're gonna get some more of this brush cleaned out and start to put this mast up and let me kind of keep an eye on this area a little bit. This is a truck pit that I've got that we cut down some trees a couple weeks ago and it's a nice level flat area that we can have to we're probably going to set some more shipping containers here and store lumber in for small business that I'm working on one of the neat things about this particular spot is that right through here there's a pretty significant drop off A pretty significant valley back here. Drops off pretty sharp right here. Pulls that valley. So we're trying to open this up here and maybe have a put a mini barn out here to set up as a, a small rent cottage or something here in this area. So this is the next ridge over on my property and the ridge goes that ridge is significantly higher than this over here. So all right, well, thanks for watching, and we're going to hope to make some more changes soon and start building the large solar array and finally get back to doing some big solar. Probably going to have some solar panels set up here in this area on the chart pit to provide some power here, as well as a couple other smaller arrays scattered around. So, well, thanks for watching, and... Uh, I'll probably be making another update in the next two or three weeks, so like and subscribe. Hope this has been useful, and thanks for following my journey. This has been David, Mr. DIY Solar and Tennessee Valley Solar. I'll catch you next time. And here is some bonus footage. I used the skid steer to clear off the trip pit this morning, and just put a gate across here. Uh, not even held in ground by the post yet. I just chained it to the tree, but hey, at least there's a gate across here. And the church pit is a whole lot more open now. A whole lot better than it was yesterday. So, plenty of room for some solar panels probably go up against the side of that ridge back there. took all the 
trees I pushed over and made them into one pile right there. Hopefully it'll just sort of decay and kind of roll down the hill. And back up in here, I opened up some, a little bit of a clearing where you can walk most of the way up to the side of the hill. Some later date, I'm gonna clean this up some more and maybe build a little deck right here or something right on the side of the, this cliff here. So, anyway, since I had gotten bored today and grabbed this kid's steer and pushed this all down, I thought I would tack on an extra video of what my chirp pit's looking like now that it's a little bit more opened up. At some point, we're planning on perhaps taking the backhoe and taking some of the chirp out of the side of that hill right there. The skid steer does a great job of just pulling trees right out of the ground. So that's a bit good for putting down on driveways and that kind of thing if we dig back up into this. So. All right, well, thanks for watching. I uh, thought I'd add this extra video on here. So once again, this has been David, Mr. DIY Solar and Tennessee Valley Solar. Hope to catch you next time.